Here you can see the machine calibrating itself. It's trying to make sure that everything is in the proper location. Here you see the blank platform and it's drawing out the uh, first layer right now. In the bottom left you can kind of see the cam and it's doing the riser right now. So you can see there, that's the outline of the compound bow. Hi, so here you can see the machine laying down the foundation. Uh, that's the brown part here, and you can see it doing it layer by layer. So even though it's making three parts, um, it'll do one layer for each of them, and then slowly build up and build the rest of the part. So once all of this brown stuff is laid down, it'll start uh, laying down some white um, material, which is the actual part. And you'll see later how this brown stuff gets broken away uh, to reveal the actual part. So in front here you can see the V which is the V bar and then in the center across is the riser and then the far back is the site being made. This machine is pretty amazing because it knows its location very well. Because um, you can imagine that if there was some error in the position of the uh, that square box moving back and forth were um, to be wrong, then the part would uh, be made incorrectly. Uh, some options that we set were the fill, so you can see it going back and forth because right now it's doing a sparse fill. Uh, since the support will be broken off and thrown away, uh, you don't want to make it solid, you want to make it um, uh, with a lot of holes in it so that way you use less material. You can also see the base or the platform moving up and down as well. Here you can see the limbs being made in the other machine. Um, here the base is white. But you can see the long curve of the limb right now being made. Here you can see the limbs are done. Um, this was made with the uh, solid um, uh, base part. So what we're going to do is we're going to pry this off and then strip it away. So here you can see uh, we've broken away some of the base. So it comes off um, pretty easily. Um, and this is the this white part here is the actual limb. Um, so eventually we'll just pry all of this off, and clean it up a bit, and we'll have our final product. So here you can see the finished part. Um, you can see the support base right there, and then this white part is the actual model. So here's the V-bar, and so what we're going to do, since this was made on the soluble machine, we are going to put it into um, this container here, and then the chemicals here are going to actually melt away that brown support material and leave behind just the white part. Uh, the liquid in here is actually pretty hot, um, so that helps in the dissolving process. So here we have our finished parts. Uh, first here we have the uh, finished compound bow. You can see the uh, tiny cams here and the limb dampener, the two limbs, um, and the riser here. And for comparison, uh, here is the uh, full size. So here you have the model and you have the real one. And if you can see here, you have the large cam, and then see those tiny cams? Um, and then you can see the uh, limb dampeners as well. So, just for comparison. Uh, 
here's the stabilizer for the compound bow, and here you can just see it would clip on just like that. Lastly, we have the recurve model. When I first made it, I made the scale too small. So here you can actually see a really tiny riser, and this is what it actually should be. But even at this scale, the machine was able to make it quite accurately. But it's kind of cool. This particular model was actually a win and win win act. Uh, but for comparison, here is a uh, Inno carbon riser. Um, one other part that I actually like a lot. Um, this is the uh, V-bar with side rods and suppression mount. And here is the life-size version. And the suppression mount actually has holes in here. You can kind of see. Um, just like the real-life one. And then the door has actually turned out very well as well. Too. Uh, there's a sight in here. Uh, this is actually a uh, Sherlock, so that turned out pretty well. And then lastly, have the uh, limbs. Uh, these are modeled with the limbs already strong, um, compared to this one which is unstrong, so the curvature is a little different. Uh, but the uh, limb bolt at the bottom turned out actually quite well. So you see the groove, and then on this side there's a silver bolt here, and there's a bolt on the small one as well. And then once you have all these, you can actually just put it together. So it actually clips in uh, fairly well. So that goes in there. And then the V-bar will clip in here. And then the long rod uh, will go on like that. So yes, I hope you enjoyed the video.